I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about using an external monitor for the iPad Pro 11 inch or 12 inch with the QQH external portable 15.6 inch monitor with a kickstand. There are two configurations. This is the first one, works out of the box using USB Type-C to USB-C cable. You can optionally get this, the USB-C hub uh, designed for S Steam Deck from Basius. I'm gonna go into great details about this setup and you will be able to use the keyboard and mouse in extended mode because this is probably not very useful as you can see with one USB-C connection you are getting power and signal at the same time and by going into the um, display setting under settings let me show you under settings display and brightness go to arrangement this is the ZV Z1-9 from QQH arrangement you can disable the mirror display Therefore, we're getting uh, the extended display here, which is um, a separate content from the main iPad screen. But in this mode, there is no way for me to interact with this screen. Okay, so this setup works great out of the box as the mirrored image, like I previously showed, to display the exact same content. Uh, however, to get more from it, you really need a USB Type-C hub. In this video, I'll be using the Steam Deck hub from Basius, which has multiple USB 3.0 uh, USB-A connection. That's rated as five gigabits per second. Three USB 3.0, has ethernet cable RG45, the HDMI 4K at 60 Hertz, and a USB Type-C 100 watts input data port. Then connection will be made using the Type-C connection to the iPad. Then um, we'll use it like this. The connection to the QQH will be done using the HDMI output then because the QQH has three ports. It has USB Type-C full functioning, carries data and power. The mini HDMI port. So we're going to plug in this HDMI cable, which is included. This cable is also included with the uh, QQH portable monitor. The, there is a USB Type-C dedicated power supply for external power. There is a menu toggle to change the brightness setting. It is set to 99%. And there is a menu option. One click brings up the menus. Okay. Now we're going to connect the, U the HDMI cable to the back of the hub like this. We don't have to supply power yet, but you can keep the iPad charged so it does not drain the battery as, as fast. The portable monitor does not have a built-in battery. Now I'm going, there is a kick, there's a stand to, you know, to support the lap, uh, support the iPad Pro. I'll be disconnecting this cable. I don't need this cable anymore. As you can see, my monitor is not powering on because the dedicated power supply is needed for this, uh, for this setup because we are only using HDMI, which does not have power supply. Okay, in this case, I'll be using the Basius USB Type-C input. The charger is being used. You can use any USB Type-C charger. Power delivery compatible is fine. Now it says external display, stage manager is off. As you can see, it works out of the box in this um, uh, mirrored image. Now we are going to, again, change it back to the arrangement will be um, mirror, dis mirror display will be off and we can change the actual orientation like this. We can move it around, but in this setup, it makes perfect sense. I iPad is on the left. The uh, QQH screen on is on the right side. So this is a appropriate setup. And now we're going to connect the 
a keyboard and mouse from Logitech. This is a really budget-friendly combo set. I can just plug into any USB port on this USB-C hub, like so. And now I'll have mouse access over, over here. I'll, I can use it like a traditional laptop. And, uh, and still, I, I don't have any power supply to the iPad. Um, and if you want, you can totally connect a USB Type-C hub behind the uh, you know, USB Type-C cable of the um, USB Type-C port of the hub and uh, keep the iPad charged. But in this mode, the iPad is not supplying power to the QQH. It is just providing the HDMI signal in this case. Okay, so that's the Apple website. I can uh, click the three dots and I, I can say minimize. It will go back here. Um, there is some, uh, let's see, additional display setting. That's uh, really uh, relevant to the iPad. The, but there is one, one thing I want to mention. If the screen color does not look pretty, you should go with the standard dynamic range instead of the HDR high dynamic range, although it supports HDR. As you can see, with the HDR disabled and SDR enabled, the color does not look washed out. Uh, that's just something I noticed uh, when you are using the iPad. It could be set up as default, but I really recommend you set it to standard dynamic range. Allow display mode change. Uh, okay. And in this mode, my, my mouse will be able to travel through these um, screens easily. And I can uh, move to display. So it moves the windows around easily. Uh, go to Apple Music. Uh, all these um, multi-task manager works great. I can easily switch between a web page and my other applications. Um, okay, and here, if I do this gesture to bring up the multitasking stuff, it, it really it does not interfere with whatever is over here on my right side on this portable monitor. And I can also do move to iPad, then the uh, I'll have touch screen access on my iPad like this. So it opens up a, a um, you know, wide range of possibilities uh, to work really efficiently, but you may have the habit of tabbing on this screen, but it does not work. It does not support touch screen. Just want to point it out. So yeah, you can play music here. It does have uh, built-in stereo speakers. And it does, since we, we don't have gesture or um, Whatever this may, if you get an Apple keyboard, you may be able to have um, expose Z multitask uh, features. But you know this is like a super budget-friendly keyboard set, so um, I, I recommend this setup. Uh, if you don't really use keyboard shortcuts that much, it is a really sweet setup. Um, yeah, you, you will have access. Okay, sometimes I guess I can close it. Close it. Uh, that's Amazon, the Amazon shopping app. I can have access to YouTube. So YouTube still runs in full screen mode, perfectly fine. That's my channel, my video, recently released video. Uh, I can minimize. Um, yeah, you will you have Netflix, all the apps. So, just acts very, very uh, fluently and, you know, works just like a desktop experience. This is a really cool um, setup. And uh, I will have all kinds of uh, ports and keep my iPad charged if you have the uh, USB Type-C cable connected uh, with a power source. How I can have the angle adjusted. Yeah, so that's how you use the um, portable monitor as the extended screen on your iPad Pro if efficiently with on a minimum budget. This is a super budget budget friendly setup uh, and I cannot recommend this thing enough. You can get a lot of stuff done 
by using something like this. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful.